Hello everybody, this is Sure Dude, and today I'm going to show you how to retexture. Uh, do a simple retexture. Uh, we'll, we'll do uh, Trevor's outfit. Seems to want to wear this outfit a lot whenever he spawns in. Uh, so we'll redo this outfit. Uh, I'll show you a simple way to uh, retexture this outfit and make it look different. Um, I'll just show you here in game what it looks like then we'll come back and uh, show you what it looks like afterwards too. Alright. Alright. Okay, so first thing you want to do is open up your open IV. Uh, go to your time 64 V RPF. Go under models, CD images, steam pads, uh, stream pads, players RPF and uh, Trevor is player two so you really you just want to look around in each one of these files and try to find like these are accessories it's not going to be in his accessories but like there's his watch uh, so that's really what you do is you go looking around like I know we're looking for his upper and his lower um, so I mean that's not as lower uh, usually the lowers and the uppers sometimes sometimes they had the same number if they match sometimes they don't but like that that's his white shirt right there that he was wearing I guarantee that um, so we can start with the upper here uh, we'll, we'll find the lower too we we'll go to edit mode uh, and it'll give you these warnings uh, then here's what you do is you click on this upper um, you should be able to uh, see right down here that the uh, texture file this YTD is the upper different 000a like I say that's gonna that's gonna correlate with the uh, the 00 over here so we're gonna look for the upper different uh, 00a which is right here. Oh, that's task. Upper different zero zero A right here. Uh, it should look, yeah, it should look like this shirt, which it does. So we're going to export this uh, DDS file. Uh, export that to the desktop there. And that's his shirt. So now let's go try to find his pants in these YTD files, which is the, the model file here, which is also, it also has textures packed in with them there. So those are his sweatpants right there. And you can see that's lower different, 023A. Okay. Okay, and that should be these right here. Yeah, it is. So we can uh, export selected, and you would do the same process then to find the shoes. Um, but I'm, you know, just to speed this along, we'll do just the uh, the top and the bottom. You kind of see what, what's going on here. Um, I'm gonna turn off edit mode but I'm gonna keep this open right here now this is where you really uh, want to be kind of experienced with uh, with GIMP um, if you're not familiar with GIMP and you're more familiar with Photoshop use Photoshop um, but you will have to be sort of familiar with this program so I guess this is gonna be sort of a, a tutorial on how to use that as well um, we'll go to these lower different uh, you see they're all blood stained and whatnot. Uh, we can do something very complicated here or very simple here. Um, I mean, you could either, very simple would be probably uh, just to colorize it. And you could make them maybe like gray or uh, even you know, black. 
So that would be something kind of simple. We'll do simple for the pants, I suppose. And I, I like to take a note of where I put the black, what number, in case I want to match it with something else. Um, usually 80 is uh, is pretty good for the black because you can still see the, the lines in the pants if you ever wanted to come back here and, and do something. So I'm going to say OK on that. And um, possibly I can just overwrite. Now it's not going to let me overwrite. So here's what I'll do. I'll export that. I'm going to replace the original file. Um, but I'm going to export it as a DDS image. You need to export it as a DDS. Uh, it says replace. Yes. And then you want to make sure it's a, a DXT1 compression format and generate the mini maps. So that one's done. Uh, you can go back in and check it to see if you want. Um, but I can see it's blacked out here, so it's done. So we can go into this upper here now. And uh, I don't really like the um, the dirtiness of the shirt here. So I can tell it's this whole white part. So we can get to something more complicated. Um, you know, I know that this is all going to be the white part here, so I'm going to go in and uh, I'm probably just going to, well, yeah, I'm going to delete that. Um, and I'm going to try to uh, make these other parts uh, more clean. And this is where I guess it could be considered more of a complicated uh, texture stuff going on here because you want to make sure you have like alphas in the background, which are these little squares that uh, show the file that it's pretty much transparent there. Um, this is close. There's some edging. You know, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but this for the most part is what you need to know. So I'm going to grab like uh, a tool here to... Uh, fill in the color. I think I'm just going to use a white and uh, we'll just put white in the background there so that'll make the shirt all white and if you know really you have to kinda you can use an old file if you, if you made it a, a you know a backup of this as a reference of where the shirt actually was but um, I could put on uh, like a picture right here Say, okay, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, I could go to Google, okay, and uh, we'll take this smiley face right here, okay, and I will save it to the desktop. Uh, I'm going to edit this with GIMP, okay, we'll do this real simple, real fast, real quick here. And uh, we're going to want to cut that out, basically. Um, yeah, I don't really want that black line around it. We'll make it a little bit bigger. You know, this is really where <clears throat> doing textures is uh, is really about your preciseness with your lines and how you can use uh, your uh, Photoshop or your GIMP. <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I know it's going to be way too big, but that's okay. And we'll open up that shirt again. And uh, we'll paste it. It's way too big, man. And I'm going to scale it down a lot. I kind of remember in my head um, the size of that shirt outline when I first started this. And it was like kind of right here. I don't remember which was the back and which was the front. Um, I think I'm just going to mess around and I'm going to put it right here just to see what happens. At the beginning, I probably should have uh, mapped out where uh, the center of that shirt was. But I'm kind of just showing you real quick here. So, I mean, you can go back in here and change the position of that smiley face anytime you want. Uh, I'm going to export this. I'm going to replace this top. Um, really, I probably shouldn't replace the top. I should probably go in there and look at that top again 
and see you know I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about I'm gonna do that right now so uh, I'm gonna open this in another file here okay hopefully there it goes so now I can see here's the original and I can see that is the back where I put the smiley face okay and I can see it is a little bit off centered from this block over here I could see if I was gonna put it in right here where it would be um, so I'm gonna just move that is what I'm gonna do um, hopefully I probably will have to undo the anchor um, and you know what I want it on the I'm gonna put it on the front of his shirt instead because I'd rather put it on the front so um, I can see that the front, uh, if you look at the skin part over here, comes down and then you have a little bit of a, uh, that's the center is where that point is right there. And uh, I got a pretty good eye. I can see that the center is between here and here really. So. Uh, it's between here and here and I'm going to move this over this should be on the front of his shirt right here uh, not too high not too low I think I put it right about eh, right about there okay so that's good for me I know that that's going to be in the right spot pretty much um, I'm going to go ahead and overwrite this file and just get this video so it doesn't run too long um, so there's the upper different I'm going to select it as a DD, uh, DDS image, export, replace. It's the DXT1, which uh, many maps say OK. Uh, so I'm going to close out of all of this now. And now that you have uh, these two um, DDS files, we'll go back into OpenIV and uh, well, we're going to look for the upper different 000, which was the top. And that was the uh, YTD files here. Textures. Let's see. 0A. Okay, and we're going to replace them, basically. Um, I should have pushed edit mode first. Say yeah. Click on it again. You'll have this replace here, and I'm going to replace it with this one now. Okay, save. And then the other one was lower different 023. Uh, so we'll go to lower different 023, and that's those. And we will replace that with the the ones we colorized okay so that's done right there and uh, close out here and we'll go in the game and check it out and I'll see you in game yeah so here we are in game uh, I can see that it worked so there's his new shirt um, it looks like it's in the right spot I like it. Uh, his pants. His pants look good. Uh, I'll probably go back in now and find those boots and uh, make those maybe like a tan color or something. Um, you can get more complicated with that uh, the better you are at your Photoshop pro uh, program or GIMP. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to make a video on model stuff because uh, programs are still being updated right now and. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated. I may, I may not, I'm not sure. But anyway, here's how you do simple texture replacers. Uh, I hope you got the idea. Um, thanks for watching. Sure, you out.